What's up? Welcome back to the channel. This week is a very interesting one because a while ago I entered a competition. It's called the I believe it's called the Enterprise Ireland uh, Student Entrepreneur Awards. So I entered this like back in January. It was like a two minute video you have to submit uh, talking about your business. Sort of put it in like and I didn't really think much about it. And then sure enough, they got back to me a few weeks later saying I had made it through to the final 50. Now, once we got into the final 50, we then had to submit a business plan. So again, went through the processes and, you know, I submitted it and then they got back to me and said I'm in the final. So I was like, Damn. every finalist gets 1500 quid guaranteed. And the winner of the competition gets, I believe 10,000 euro. So that probably equates like, like eight and a half grand. <laughs> This week, one of my main activities is actually preparing my slide deck um, in order to present to them. So it's currently Monday, uh, four days prior to the pitch. And then I'll take you through this week, sort of the stages leading up to the final. And hopefully we can check out a big 10k, baby! So yeah, obviously at this stage, just a few final tweaks need to be made, but at the end of the day, it comes down to your confidence and your ability to communicate effectively is what it actually kneels down to. So in all seriousness, I, I really enjoy this stuff actually, and um, it's actually, it's cool to hear the questions they have about my business at the end, um, because that's when you learn about things that people are still unclear about. So this was the PowerPoint slide that I would eventually present to the judges in the final. I wanted to keep everything very visually clear and try and include as little text as possible. Um, I wanted to demonstrate that I knew the problems of the industry really clearly and to actually take them through how my solution would work. Uh, I suppose we're, we're, we're at a good point now where we actually have an MVP built. So I have the luxury of being able to take them through how this worked. Some key facts about our progress we've made and why there's a big opportunity. And uh, yeah, sort of going through our vision long term as well, which is to digitally connect everyone in the caddying industry. Our first product is basically just for caddies and golf clubs. However, our vision is to create a solution for tour operators and golfers in the future as well. So we wanted to make them clear of that. The next day. What's up everyone? Just out an early morning walk, just uh, freshen up the mind and get myself ready for today. So yeah, today's job is narrowing down exactly what I want out of my PowerPoint. And I have like a technical check over uh, with one of the girls who's running the program just to make sure that uh, my Zoom call doesn't break down halfway through the pitch. Uh, there's a nice route in my village. You can do like a two and a half or three kilometers just for like a square. So I'm gonna cruise around here and I'll be back for eight o'clock to get started. I know a lot of people will use this opportunity to listen to like a podcast or something, but I've never been into podcast while walking that's my personal opinion but uh yeah i always listen just uh today's tuesday so i've still got a bit left of my spotify discover weekly left so i usually just bang that on just enjoy it and just get my own zone so yeah it was funny last night uh so there's a guy from belfast who i'm working on a business project with at the minute outside handy Caddy. um it's actually through with uh queens and the university experience um, I'll actually, I'll probably start letting you guys in on that very soon. Um, so he's from Belfast, but he was doing a bit of a cruise around Donegal, which is a county, I'm from the north of Ireland, but it's a county very near me. So he was cruising around there for the weekend and he was driving in the car and he encountered Eglinton, which is my village and he remembered I was from there. So he landed down at the house last night um, with his mate Callum, who's also an entrepreneur. And yeah, we had a great conversation. We literally just talked about, you know, I wanted to learn how he started his business. So he does promotion for a lot of motivational speakers on Instagram and he creates videos and he's grown a, a big team. And it was really interesting to actually hear how he founded that. And he was saying it literally took thousands of DMs every day in order to actually make that breakthrough. And I think that takes a lot of trust because you don't know if that's actually gonna work. And it sort of made me realize like, you have to be intense and consistent to, to make this work, you know, you can't uh, 
you can't half ass it at all. It's cool to be around people like that and a lot of good learning points. So I'm about to jump on the call now with the people running the competition to make sure everything technically is Gucci. Oh now, how are you? Good, well, good. Great. How are you? Yeah, very good, very good. Well, that, I mean, preferably the light will be coming like towards you, like from the front and not from any, uh, any angles, because yeah. that gives like a better view of your face. And then, you know, like the position of the laptop, you know, not too much, not too And if you've any queries in the meantime, it's like, just pop an email. Yeah, you'll be sick of my face by the end of the week. See you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no worries at all. <laughs> Listen, see you later. Thanks very much. So it's Tuesday night now, and I have a practice pitch tomorrow with a guy from my accelerator program, just to run over, just to make sure there's no hiccups in it. Um... But I'm not going to lie, I am absolutely wrecked. And I have a handy caddy team meeting after this as well. Uh, yeah, I'm still up for it. I'll probably just get a Coke downstairs and get the caffeine running through my veins. And I will be a Gucci bro. So yeah, the PowerPoint is coming together nicely. Uh, one of the things I was trying to focus on was include very minimal amounts of words. Because when you're looking at a PowerPoint and you see like hundreds of lines of copy and pasted text, your mind just goes to sleep. So it's now the night before I present my pitch is tomorrow at I believe it's like 10 50 a.m. in the morning So I have to be up brave and early to practice my pitch again make sure I'm solid So I believe the format is five minutes where I present and then ten minutes where they can ask me any questions And I think that is the more trying part because you can completely prepare for the five minutes That's in your control, but the ten minutes they could throw curveball central at you so i mean it could be absolutely anything but usual questions are around market size how quickly you can commercialize your idea your team your competitive advantage so if it's anything similar to the competitions i've entered it should be similar but i'll just answer it to the best of my ability and give it a crack time to get a good sleep now and rest up before tomorrow so it's the morning of the pitch now to be completely honest, I did sleep on a little bit longer than what I want to do. Um, but I've just had a shower there, I feel pretty fresh. The only thing is I'm allergic to cats and the cat got, must have got into my room last night. My eye is bloodshot. But yeah, I'm gonna go upstairs now, do the last bit of prep and crack on with it. Whew, pitch done. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've absolutely nailed that. Like, oh, I just pitched everything like to a T and any questions they asked, like, I feel like I had the answers for it, but I feel like that only comes through experience. Like I've done this 20, 30 times so far. So I know roughly what they're going to ask. And obviously I didn't do it in this fucking tomato shirt as well. I did it in, uh, in a black in black t-shirt as well. I want to look somewhat professional, but yeah, really happy with it. And you know what, regardless of the result, I, I've done the best I possibly can. And with pitches, it's just a learning curve. You know, uh, I've failed so many times in competitions and I, I've, lost so many competitions that you know it doesn't really matter the result of course i would love the money don't get me wrong but um yeah just a learning curve at this stage and uh at the end of the day i'm trying to build a business not win competitions so we'll see we'll see how we get on we'll see how we get on right now to meet so i'm just on the live stream in a minute it's actually really interesting to hear the other founders ideas <laughs> Not gonna lie, this whole music is driving me absolutely insane. It's just the same repeated track over and over again. I feel like I'm on hold to like Halifax or something. So it's now a couple of hours after the results have been announced and I can reveal that unfortunately I did not win one of the four big cash prizes. However, through being a top 10 finalist, I still get 1500 pounds, which will make a massive difference to myself and my business. Um, I can still take a lot away from this. I was one of the top 10 finalists out of a thousand in Ireland, which is just crazy. Um, again, any opportunity to get to pitch your business to people who have a bit of experience in entrepreneurship um, is always a good thing. Yeah, just another learning experience on my journey. 
uh thanks again for viewing this video another bit of news i actually purchased the car yesterday opens up a lot more opportunities for me to travel and play golf courses across ireland that is what's going to be coming up in the next few weeks uh yeah i can't wait to start traveling about and playing really cool courses around ireland and obviously for the launch of handy caddy which is coming up this summer massive thanks again for the support and i'll catch you in the next one peace